Welcome back to Trading R. Well, shifting focus temporarily to the commodity space, Manisha joins in and today we are focusing on gold. Well, yes, Vivek, we've been putting a lot of focus on gold in the recent few days, and that's because it has been hitting all-time highs constantly, yet another all-time high in the Indian markets right now, where we have seen 79,000, uh, uh, rather 7, 79,800 being hit. Some bit of a profit-taking coming in on your screens right now from those kind of levels, but we are not too far away from those all-time highs. In the global markets as well, we have seen an all-time high of $2790 an ounce. Well, the U.S. third quarter GDP numbers have come in slightly lower than the street estimate of 3%. We've seen a number of 2.8%. That has led to some buying. Apart from that, there's a lot of uncertainty in Japan after uh, the recent elections. And the U.S. presidential elections on 5th of November also are bringing in a lot of jitteriness to the market. And in any case, when you look at the charts and go back, you will see that gold does get bought in and around the, the U.S. presidential elections. So that's exactly the pattern that we are looking at at this point in time as well. Well, apart from that, if you look at uh, uh, the buying that's happening in right now, this is happening despite the dollar indexing increase. The yields are on the higher side as well. This is not as per textbook and that puts further confidence and trust <coughs> Excuse me, uh, with the investors to continue to buy gold. Markets also are looking at the geopolitical tensions where we have seen Israel now come out saying that if Iran does any more <coughs> excuse me, any more missile attacks on Israel, then they would go all out and not spare the facilities as they have done the last time. So that has added some geopolitical premium to the prices also. In the Indian markets as well, even as the prices are at all-time highs, but the Dhanteras, Diwali demand has been on the higher side. There are expectations from experts that in this week itself, which is Dhanteras and Diwali, we are perhaps looking at 40 tons of gold being sold. So this is a number that we see on an average as well. And all-time high prices are not making a dent, and that has been another additional support to prices. You know, one would have thought that all-time high prices would have impacted demand. That hasn't happened. Thank you, Manisha, for joining in and all, as always. And take care of that cough as well. The demand for cough syrups also seem to go higher at this particular time. But thank you for joining in today. That's the update coming in from the commodity space. Let's talk about a corporate conversation.